Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know that video I made about my bracket picks and predictions? Well, you can totally forget about that, because now we're into the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, and definitely has been unpredictable and all that. But who would have thought that the Montreal Canadiens, yes, the Montreal Canadiens, who finished fourth in the North All Canadian Division will be the team that ultimately came out of that said North All Canadian Division that is in the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And then, given the fact that the Montreal Canadiens have made it this far, I mean, they did come back from 3 1 down against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, during that series, if the Montreal Canadiens do win the Stanley Cup, Maybe you gotta thank my TikTok, as I'll show. It's a joke about French vanilla. So I'll show you that TikTok. How can I tell that this is a French vanilla? Oh, bonjour, en français, bon Montreal Canadien. I see, oui, oui. Yeah, bonjour, oh, oui, oui, bon Montreal Canadien. That's why it's called a French vanilla, that. Even a strong angle like myself, I briefly touched on some French. But man, since that TikTok that I posted, because that was still during the Toronto Montreal series, it was three to two for Toronto at that time. And then the Montreal Canadiens they slept, they swept the Winnipeg Jets fairly convincingly. So I'm almost thinking at this point, I'm not too sure if I'm going to say it. I'm officially getting on the bandwagon. But it wouldn't surprise me. Given how the playoffs have broken down, it actually wouldn't surprise me now that the Montreal Canadiens, who would have thought Montreal Canadiens would ultimately win the Stanley Cup this year? It might be crazy. It might be that French vanilla. No, I did not put any uh, extra additives in that French vanilla. But just how Carey Price has looked, yeah, Cole Caulfield is looking tired to Foley. I mean, good God. That guy has been playing well, well over his head. You know, same with Nick Suzuki. And then you got Jeff Petrie, Shea Weber, solid parts on defense. And then, I mean, yesterday I made a video talking about the Calgary Flames when they named associate coach Kirk Muller. So we have Captain Kirk be at least behind the bench for the Calgary Flames, but even during the season before when the Calgary Flames made the coaching change. So did the Montreal Canadiens, where they moved on from Claude Gillian and brought in Dominic Darshan, if I said the name right. I mean, who would thought that time? Because it looked like in the North Division, Toronto was the best team in the league, followed by Edmonton, and then they had Winnipeg and Montreal, where, hmm, and then ultimately it was Winnipeg and Montreal that advanced into the second round. I mean, Toronto, I guess, you could say a couple factors. I mean, John Tavares got hurt, but then their big money players like Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner definitely didn't show up. And then we have Carey Price. Suddenly, Carey Price, well, wasn't he a bum? What is Montreal saying? Get rid of him like last month? I know it's the nature of the goalie, and it still looks a lot to be paying you know your goalie $10 million. And Carey Price... As great as a player he is on the ice, he's definitely a great player off the ice. He's definitely involved in, in the community, and he's definitely, you know, touched upon, you know, kids in the past. And so you can look up Carey Price, what he does off the ice. He's definitely uh, a great player and a great person off the ice, so that's off to Carey Price. But uh, if the Montreal Canadiens ultimately win the Stanley Cup, the Conn Smythe definitely has to go his way. I mean, the Montreal Canadiens looked like, you know, how they did it in 1986 on the back of uh, Patrick Waugh. I mean, I think the Calgary Flames, if they weren't stoned by Patrick Waugh, they would have won the Stanley Cup in 1986, and who knows what could have happened after that. Because I'm sure Lane McDowell might have retired after that season. But, uh, however, the Montreal Canadiens will definitely be in for a tough task because uh, how the playoffs shook down is that Montreal will be playing the Vegas Golden Knights because Vegas ultimately knocked off the Colorado Avalanche and then out, well, I guess you can say out in East in this case. 
we got the matchup with the Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Islanders. I mean, if you look at the Final Four right now, the consensus are it's going to be Vegas and Tampa Bay. For the Stanley Cup, but you can't count out uh, New York Islanders, especially if they play defensively. That I would say right now the most exciting Stanley Cup final would be Vegas and Tampa Bay. That would be the best excitement. But I am hoping. I'm just hoping actually the Montreal Canadiens. You know, screw, I want the Calgary Flames to be the uh, next Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup. This run that the Montreal Canadiens are on right now, and the fact that how they came back from the Toronto Maple Leafs, and insert Toronto Maple Leafs jokes right here as you want. I mean, Toronto actually had home ice for Game 7, like the other series where they lost to the Boston Bruins, but how they looked against the Winnipeg Jets and Carey Price and, you know, Cole Caulfield is playing out of his mind. He's looking good already. You know, tired to fully. Brandon Gallagher, I didn't mention him. And then just a steady force with uh, Jeff Petrie and Shea Weber. I mean, those are two players. Carey Price and Shea Weber. I mean, those would be the two players that I really would like to see when it's Stanley Cup. And I guess former Flame, Brett Kulak and Paul Byron are on the Montreal Canadiens. But we've gone this far. I mean... We were guaranteed at least one Canadian team to be in the third round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, given the format. But the only thing that I can see the Montreal Canadiens possibly get past the Vegas Golden Knights is if they take Game 1 and Carey Price continues to play his strong net princes. Vegas is the better team on paper. They are the better team in terms of forwards up front. And yes, they also have a stuck goalie and... Marc-Andre Fleury, but the one weakness I would give the Vegas Golden Knights is the fact that if Carey Price gets into their heads, the offense dries up for Vegas. I know the other interesting potential storyline in that series is going to be how Ryan Reeves will play against the Montreal Canes, but I mean Vegas is the bigger, bulkier team versus Montreal's smaller, skilled forwards, but they have that it factor. That if factor that some teams have, like the Calgary Flames had in 2004. No one is thinking the Calgary Flames then. We're going to go all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals and debate because they should have won the Stanley Cup in Game 6. I'll just leave it at that. But the Montreal Canadiens, I'm thinking at this point, it wouldn't surprise me now if they win the Stanley Cup. But I also wouldn't be surprised either if uh, Vegas, if they get past beyond Carey Price, if Carey Price isn't getting their head. It should be a short series, but uh, if Montreal wins game one, and they've won, what, six? Yeah, they've won seven games in a row as they were down three games to one against the Toronto Maple Leafs and won two games in overtime and won game seven fairly convincingly against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Hmm, winning games in overtime. It's not like the Montreal Canadiens did that before. Hmm, 1993. But when you look at the other potential opponents, I mean, if Montreal had the best chance to win a Stanley Cup, they would have to be against New York Islanders, and that wouldn't, wouldn't be as exciting of a series in terms of uh, offense. But uh, it definitely will have to be with Carey Price shouldering a load, and he'll definitely be carrying the Consumate Trophy just like how Patrick Waugh did back in the day. But I had to say, what do you think of the run the Montreal Canadiens have in? Then think of the four Canadian teams that made the playoffs. And the Calgary Flames, we were four points behind the Montreal Canadiens to get that final playoff spot. And if we didn't have trouble against Ottawa, I mean, we won six out of nine against the Montreal Canadiens. I mean, we could have been in the third round given how things looked. Because I, I just say that Toronto, I mean, their big guns didn't show up. Edmonton, even though they got swept by the uh, Winnipeg Jets, and of course I'm not too sad about that, but... It wasn't a blow either because three of those games went to overtime. And ultimately, I think Edmonton got exposed to the fact that they're extremely, extremely top-heavy with Conrad David and Leon Dreisel. Yes, they're great, exciting players to watch, but you definitely need a little more of a supporting cast. And you could also say the case with the Edmonton Oilers that Darrell Nurse might have not played as much as he needed to if they had Oscar Clefbaum. But, uh, you know, I just keep going on. I just... Saying I, I'm liking the Montreal Canadiens right now, and now they're in the Final Four. I mean, this is going to be the biggest test. And the fact that now these playoffs are going to be even more wide open, because now we got matchups that we haven't seen all season. 
Montreal's going to be like, oh, there's American teams? And we're not playing in Canada anymore? That's going to be probably a shock to Montreal. And seeing someone not, not a Canadian team, I mean, this whole Canadian division was exciting, but uh, that's, what, that's what I think. It's not going to surprise me now if the Montreal Canadiens ultimately win the Stanley Cup. Who would have thought? I'd, no one thought that, especially how they looked throughout the season. Coaching change. But they have that stud, stud goalie and Carey Price. And again, careers. How to bring Gallagher. Tired to Foley. I mean, man. Vancouver Cup fans are really kicking themselves for not keeping that guy. That's all I'll say. So anyways, I'd like to say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, home of Flame, Sam, and Rough next to Stampeders. And if I had a choice, if my only two choices for Canadian teams was to be a Leaf fan or a Hab fan, I actually would lean towards the Habs. So they have more prouder history. And red's my favorite color, and it would definitely be a little easier in my heart, as I would say. And you know what? I am starting to sympathize with Leaf fans, because some people tell me, when I go through a tough loss as a Calgary sports fan, so I says, don't worry, I'm a Leaf fan, but you know what? We're getting to that territory where it's been at least 32 years since the Calgary Flames won the Stanley Cup. And now the Toronto Maple Leafs have tied the New York Rangers for the longest Stanley Cup drought of 54 years. But keep this in mind, my Calgary Flames, since we won the Stanley Cup in 1989, we've only gotten out of the first round twice. 2004 and 2015. At least the Toronto Maple Leafs, they've gotten teases where they've at least gotten the conference championships. But that's all I have to say for that. Other things I, you know, do on my YouTube channel is personal vlogs, attempt to comedy, and also t share my experience same on the road or at a sporting event, and I've been doing some more vlogging on the go. So if that all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch, do follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey. You know what you should do, just uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I also have my other social media down in the description below. I'm just going to say I'm not really on anyone's bandwagon now. I mean, it's not going to, you know, get me upset or extra excited either way. On who ultimately wins the Stanley Cup, and by the way, the Stanley Cup is the most impressive championship trophy in all sports. It's beautiful. I mean, it was a little easier for me last year to watch Tampa Bay win it than, let's say, 16 years ago. Um, yours could be in. But it wouldn't surprise me if the Montreal Canadiens... If ultimately the Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup, there's just uh, they, they seem to have that hit factor and no one's taking them. I bet all the experts are going to say, oh, Vegas and four, Vegas and five, Vegas, 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 Vegas. But they have that hit factor right now. And uh, if Carey Price can get into their heads, Vegas has a tendency to dry up offensively. And we saw that last year in the bubble with the Vegas Golden Knights that the Vancouver Canucks definitely uh, got in their heads and they barely got out of the second round and then Dallas took them out in the third round but uh, and oh yeah uh, Montreal's going to be a little more rested too because they swept the uh, Winnipeg Jets while the Vegas Golden Knights they had to play six games against the Colorado Avalanche and that was the heavyweight matchup I mean realistically I was thinking whoever won that series is like going to win the Stanley Cup so I guess you could say Vegas won it but Montreal just has that hit factor that's all I got to say it's all that's all I'm going to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Go much up Canadian. I guess I'll keep having some more French villas for you. Have Nation. So do me a favor out in Montreal. Enjoy some Alberta beef and try to talk like a redneck when my Calgary Flames are in the playoffs, okay? Deal? All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.